Hello. Am I alive? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, should be working. Yo, what's up, Solar? Solar Nation. Um, I am gonna need a second and post that I'm streaming in a couple places. My controller is probably going to be a bit loud, but it should be fine. I also did test the audio levels beforehand for once, so that should be okay too. So this is pretty spontaneous, I don't know for how long I'm gonna go, but I wanted to get some footage of this game anyways, so here I am. Uh, oh my god, I'm, how do I use Instagram? Okay. I'll be ready in just a second. All right, cool, cool, cool. Is the link working? Yes, okay. Um, 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 um. um. Well, I guess I'll just uh, play the video game. Oh, is my mouth not moving? Why is it not moving? Uh, um, 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 weird. Oh well. I never paint. Um, wait, why is my mouth not moving in the model? Do I have to... Uh, Do I have to adjust my posture so my camera can see my mouth? Um, okay, well, whatever, it's not a big deal. Uh, yes, I am playing Robot Souls. I did beat this game like two days ago, S but I really suck at this game still. Like, there's a bunch of missions you also can't get. Or you can, like, only do them once, and if you fail, you just can't do it again until you beat the game. So I'm just gonna do some stuff I haven't done, or, like, try some missions that I was really bad at. And, yeah. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I'm not very... Uh, good at this talking thing. Okay, so... I don't know, this series is pretty intricate, it's really cool. Um, 
you have your mission screen and you basically get stuff assigned by these three corporations that are at the bottom right, Mirage, Cross, and Kisaragi. And basically you can pick what missions to do for whom and you will like get different missions depending on how you're standing us with different people. Um, right. And the setup is like a bit like a psychopath kind of thing where you have like the controller that controls like the society at large and basically the story is about the company's trying to take it out um if i understood it correctly and then you go to these missions usually when you do a normal playthrough it's like one or two missions that you can do um and then you do one of those, you pick whose mission you want to do, and then you move on. And the story the story is basically only told via these mission briefings. And they tell you what they want to do, and maybe if they feel like it, they'll tell you why they want to do it. Uh, or like why they want you to, I don't know, destroy a power plant or whatever. And then you have these, um, your mailbox. And then sometimes they also tell you some lore through this. Um, or if you like did a good job for a mission that was important to a company, you get like a cool part for your robot in your mail. Or they tell you when there's new stuff in the shop. Um, or you get angry mails by by people you destroyed in the arena. Um, yeah. So you have the missions that I just explained and then a separate arena where you have like those mercenaries, the ravens, that are just fighting in the arena to be, be the best, I guess. <laughs> and um, I did that too. And now... There's some more people that went up the ranks while, like, after I finished the game. So, what else? There's this extra unit that popped up after I finished the game, but I have no idea what this is. Like 2v2s or 2v1s. Um, yeah, and you have your garage where you can buy parts, you can paint your big funny robot um you can customize the hud there's so much shit you can see in the hud and it's really cool um okay what do i want i think this is what i had before i started out with like the least amount of stuff that i needed so I could get used to all the numbers on the screen, because it's quite a lot. And I mean, like, seeing your altitude doesn't really do much at all. You don't really... You can see that you're flying and how much boost you have to keep you afloat. Um, it's not like the altitude has any effects. And stuff like that. You can change the color. Like, the thing in the top right, the minimap and stuff, Sometimes the HUD changes depending on your head piece. Like depending on what company it is, I think, you get a different UI and like they have lots of stats, like every single thing has so many stats. And you also have like head pieces that have like different radar functions. Like some uh, really focus on armor so they like remove all the all the junk and you you can't even see your map you can't see where enemies are but like if it's just like an arena or something it might be good to pick that one um <laughs> they have stats for like if male or female computer voice it's so cool 
And um, most things that you can get in the entire game, you can like buy from the beginning. And there's not too much stuff that it would be overwhelming. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's such a cool game. I haven't tried everything out yet. Like I've been mostly playing with the normal legs, but there's like quad legs, there's like tanks, there's like these weird hover legs, I think. Um, yeah, there's boosters, there's FCS. I think those are like fire control units. They show you, you have like a lock-on zone in your mech and that's like telling you how big it is, how far you can lock onto enemies um, and all that stuff. I don't know if I should go through everything. I guess I can while I'm at it. So that's like just very roughly. There's generators that tell you like your stamina, that's basically a stamina bar. There's radiators that tell you how quickly the stamina bar recovers. Um, there's inside parts. Uh, I think there's like an extra weapon thing. Yeah, like mines or like things that disrupt enemy radars and stuff like that. There's like extensions that are like shields or missiles. There's back units that are also missiles or like more guns that you can like put on your shoulder or like extra ammo or radars for like headpieces that don't have radars built in so you can just put on an extra one. Um, there's guns. You have, there's like energy swords. Um, and there's like optional parts that are like, that just give you like little bonus stat boosts that like increase fire rate or like a bit more damage reduction. Uh, and everything looks so cool. And it's pretty fun to figure everything out. And you can go, there's not too many options, even though it looks like it scrolling through this but even then it's like so cool to like if you want to spend the time you can just you can like see the design sensibilities and stuff for each company and they have like the parts that are like competitors to other companies parts that are maybe a bit cheaper and more and like better because they want their parts to sell and it's just like a law thing it's it's pretty nice and then every single part has like uh stats that influence everything else hello hello emily how you doing i'm playing this big robot game um, yeah, and there's like stats that influence everything else, like weight or energy drain, or like how fast you can move. Like if you're heavier, then it's natural that you can only move slower. And like there's only a specific amount of weight, like a leg piece can carry and stuff like that. And if you weigh more, your boosters are slower. It's really cool. Um, yeah. I'm probably just gonna do a couple of these arena fights for now. Starts of him cracking open opponent's AC in mere seconds are used to fight new pilots. No one else is background. <laughs> Everyone in the arena has like a cool logo and a really edgy robot name and like their rank number and you can look at all their stats and every part they have I think, yeah. 
So they're all also like built out of parts that you can also buy. So you can <laughs> roleplay as a favorite arena villain. It's pretty funny. Oh wait, maybe I should have just gone into a normal mission so I can explain the controls. Uh... Oh well. It's really difficult to see and find your opponents if you can't tell by the gameplay. Like if the enemy is good at moving, it's so difficult to just lock onto them. And I really don't know how to deal with flying opponents. <laughs> GG. <laughs> okay, let's go into the regular mission first. Anything I haven't done? Destroy germ canisters. Okay, let's go. I also found a ROM that has English text but Japanese voice acting, and that's really fun. Germs can only survive in protective canisters. Once developed, it's indestructible. Okay, like you also really need to read the briefings. Because like when it's in a, in a lab, you need to pay attention to if you can destroy anything else in it, or if you should destroy anything else. Sometimes they don't want you to destroy, to destroy the stuff. And then you still fail your mission because you fucked up too much of the belongings. <laughs> okay, so it's the controls are really funny. It takes a while to get used to. Basically, um, you got this boost. Oh shit. Oh no, I do have to destroy things. Um, so you strafe with your shoulder buttons. With your shoulder buttons you strafe, and then with the shoulder triggers you look up and down. And then with a the joystick you turn and you move forwards and backwards. So when I have to, when I want to like boost to the side, I have to press LB and boost. Um, and it takes a while to get used to. Um, and I have an extension so I can do like quick turns that uses energy. Um, wait, what do I do? I wasn't looking at why I failed. Did I just leave or did they destroy something? Alright, let's try again. This is what I meant with you need to pay attention <laughs> to the briefings and what they're saying. Wow, it still gave me rank E even though I didn't even complete it. Uh, once the alarm is triggered, you must act quickly, I see. That's what I didn't catch. <laughs> So I'm guessing these are the things I need to destroy. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, the controls are really difficult. I think I played this for like 30 hours. And if I don't play, th I really need to warm up. So you see, you also see this big rectangle in the middle of my screen. That's like the lock on zone. And I have mine extra big because uh, I don't want to deal with looking up and down. <laughs> But also something is disrupting my lock-on function. Maybe like the enemy max. Did I fail again? I did. I guess I wasn't destroying the correct things. So yeah, how's how's everyone's day been? Oh, also you lose money for ammunition, and if you take damage and complete a mission, you can just soft lock yourself by going completely broke, and then not being able to afford equipment. Um, yeah, fun stuff. So, I definitely had to reload, like save, before every mission and then reload if I failed and lost too much money. Okay, so all of these are things I need to destroy. The big ones and the small ones. Cool. Good meal? That's pretty good. What did you eat? I didn't have anything interesting today. Oh no, now the pressure's on. Wait, can I look at the map? Is that everything? No, there's so many. Wait, is that door? Yes. What if I just run through till the end? Oh, that sounds nice. Okay. There's still a bunch of targets in the room that I just came from. So bunny hopping is definitely the way to move in this game, where you spam the boost button instead of holding it in one direction, because it's faster to change directions and... Wait, what did I miss? Okay. Um, and then your stamina refi uh, like refills in between every hop, so you have enough energy for other things. Two more. No. I'm missing so much stuff. Oh, it's up here. What is it? No. What am I missing? (sighs) 
so I did save before this. So if I'm gonna keep failing, I'll just reload. I don't know how long I'm gonna go today. Maybe I might have to end the stream way sooner than I'm planning to because my wrist has been hurting the like for the entire week. It's been getting better slowly, but I still don't want to overdo it. I'm planning to do like a digital detox kind of thing tomorrow where I'll just try to not touch my phone and my computer at all and see how that goes. Um, I'm not sure if I have the discipline for that, but we'll see. Hello, why was he standing on top of me? Did I miss anything in this room? Nope. I'm quite chunky, so I don't need to worry about Oh, the little guy is attacking me. Nice. Let me know let me know how 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 it's gonna go for you on Sunday. <laughs> The worst part is going to be falling asleep. I always have like videos or podcasts on because uh, my own thoughts are scary and not very reassuring. Wait, there's another door here. It's closed. Okay. Said everything. Nice. Um, oh, escape point. Okay. Cool. Nice. <sighs> I still lost money. I got a lot, and I guess I destroyed some, I got extra money for destroying some extra stuff, but I still spent too much ammo, I took too much damage. You also get a, like, a rank for every mission, and it depends on like how much damage you take, how quickly you complete it and stuff. But I don't think you get anything when you S rank everything, so... I'm just not going to do it. Yo, what's up, Rage? <laughs> you destroyed the air conditioning and they're pissed. I stubbed my big robot toe on some big container and now they're gonna make me pay. Um, let's see. 
Anything else fine. Okay, I just have to destroy enemies on this one. I really like how the menus, it's like basically like your, your personal computer, your, like your work computer, and then they give you like your briefings, like you're on, on your downtime, on your job. Um, okay, I just need to destroy shit. Okay, okay, got it. There's some weird funny artifacts that shouldn't be there, like around the like those vertical lines and the loading screen. But it's fine. I was playing this on my Steam Deck a lot. Um, and it's really cool. I also use like the back buttons that I mapped. Other buttons too. Which I don't have on the Xbox control I'm playing with right now. But it's still pretty good. Do I need to chase the guy down first? I don't think I need to destroy everything. Oh, I don't know why it's slowing down a little bit now. Pillars are my biggest enemy. Yo, the monorail! Wait, wait, can I destroy this? I can! Let's hope there were no civilians in those. I still don't know where to go. Let's just run around and hope it tells me. Is this a guy? No! Chain impact. I think I love Mountain Dew. Alright, cool. I don't know if this was supposed to be a struggle or not. Um, the si Oh, I still lost money. Oh, okay, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to kill the monorails. That was uh, quite a loss. Let me try again. Yeah, I really like the mech that I... the mech that I built that I tend to play in most missions has like a really fast machine gun on the right arm and then a flamethrower on the left one and then I can just press the buttons for both of them at the same time which is really difficult to do like physically on the controller but it usually kills everything before I can kill you, which is a decent strat. Because dodging is very difficult, especially when when they have like those cool Gundam anime missiles that chase you, it's really difficult to like... Look at the enemy, keep shooting, like uh, look at the, your environment that you're not running into walls and stuff, and then like try to trick the missiles by going in a different direction right before they hit you. Like the skill ceiling is really high in this game. Um, Which one did I do? This one? I think this one. Yep.
Alright, now I know what to do. I can just go straight to the guy. My co also comes with these little two with these two little friends that automatically shoot stuff. But it costs energy. I think cores come with like two types of like bonus or like uh, uh, like specials. It's either this one where you can summon these little guys or it's like a boost where you can teleport behind someone and say nothing personal kid. Usually it's uh, your best bet is to take like one rifle and then one like laser sword because that one use the sword uses energy and then that doesn't detect uh, detect any ammo and you can also run out of ammo pretty easily if you're not careful. And then you're just fucked. You can't finish the, the mission. S rank, and I gained money. Nice. There was like one mission that I wanted to do. That had like a bonus mission with a bonus part that I wanted. But I've I don't remember which one it was. So I'll just do some I haven't done. The music reminds me a lot of uh System Shock, especially the first one. Which came out quite a while before this. I think this game came out in 2002. <laughs> and I'll play this until I'll get bored and then I'll hop on to Armored Core 4, which was on the PS3, if I can get it, if I can get it to run well. Whoa, I don't know if this is a bug. Oh no, there was just like a window with stuff on it, I think. <laughs> Why is it so slow in this stage? Okay, that was easy. It was a bait! No! Where's the other guy? Uh, I have to bunny up a bit to not waste all of my boosts. Oh, never mind. He died. Evolution Worlds. Um, where basically the good party members took a large share of the loot and... <laughs> In the end of the game, you being a massive debt. That sounds fun. I've never heard of this game. Wow, I made so much money. 433. Whatever the income is. Credits? I think it's just credits because it says C. Wow, these missions were so difficult in the beginning of the game. Yeah, I I really like the mission design, design uh, designs of this game. Like some of them straight up remind me of like Gundam subplots or whatever. 
I guess you can't do that much. I like this established tropes and stuff like that and mecha stuff in general. Mm. Let's see, the strike defenses. The, the level design in this game is also really nice and refreshing, like nothing ever gets stale. Sometimes you're just like in a forest where you can't see shit, sometimes um, you're in like an underground lab. Sometimes you have like other labs that are, but they are much more spacious and vertical. Okay, I need to defend the launch vehicles while they set up. Okay, I see. And I can also, for some missions, like hire other mercenaries to help me out. But I don't think I'm gonna need it this time. Sometimes you get like bonus stuff when you do it without them. This stage makes me want to finally get to Metal Gear. But I think I'll just play robot games for now. I also uh, booted on Demon X Machina again. And that game is so much more fun after playing this and understanding how these games work. Wow, the audio is so crunchy when it slows down. I can't see shit. I'm basically just looking at the minimap and hoping my <laughs> my thing locks onto enemies. No, I don't even know where my squad mem uh, squad members are. I remember like one of the first missions I ever pl uh, played in this game was like I had to defend trucks in like that highway map from a little bit ago. It was like orange looking and stuff and I was chasing the guy. I had to defend trucks um, from enemies and I kept accidentally like walking or bumping into the, my own trucks and failing the mission because I wasn't used to the controls at all. And like, the, the mech I'm playing now has like one of the highest turning speeds. Or like, the parts I chose. I'm, I'm killing everyone, why are you ever getting hit? Just don't get hit, bro. Um, so yeah, turning in this game is really slow. Like this is a high turning speed. And then I have like the, the extension that I can do the quick turns. I, I know lots of people play like heavy tanks that have a lot of armor points. But I, I would have no I, I don't know how I would line up my shots and actually hit them. 
Also, I'm about to die. Dang. Uh. I should probably save before I keep failing missions again. Yeah, it's so cool. And the later games, starting with the PS3 games, well, I mean, the games that came after this one, basically, <laughs> um, have so much cooler vibes. Like, the, the music in this game is not very... I don't know, it doesn't stick out much, but in Ahmed Kov 4 and For Answer, which is like the sequel to the fourth game. It has so many good songs. Um, but yeah, and I think it has more variety too. And I think with every like numbered title, it's like a new universe or like a new storyline. I think, um, okay, fine, I guess I'll hire them. You seem cool. Come through. Um, yeah, I think, like, every game had two entries. Like, every, yeah, every numbered game had a sequel to it that didn't have a number to it. And those in one universe, and then... Yeah, I don't know. They were like the the hard version of the game. With more stuff and better balance. Okay, I can't see my... My guys on the map, only on the minimap. And I think Armored Core 2 and 3, which were the PS2 games, also had PSP ports that people really like. But, um. Yeah, they're pretty much the same game, I think. So I went for the less pixelated one. <laughs> Why is he already dead? Did I just walk? D did I kill him again? Well, my guys, I need to chest this now. Okay, the green dots are like friendly max, I think. No. What, why, where are the guys I need to defend? What is happening? So it's not the purple thingies, because they're pointing up, so they're high up, so it has to be the jets. If I kill this guy... Okay. So, they're the other max. I thought they were like... Tanks with missiles or something. I guess not. Okay, let's, re <laughs> let's reload to make up for the last money. To unloose my money.
Okay, let's try it like one more time. Which one was it? Where was it? I can't remember them. No, no. Turn the monorail, no. Alright, let's do this. Let's destroy the enemy forces. This is pretty straightforward. They made the story work. Like, there was like two sentences of dialogue, but you can already understand why you're fighting the bad guys and what they did. Them. Uh, I guess I'll check the other side again. Oh, this one more. No? Yes, last one. If I didn't get an S rank, I can get an S rank in this. This is easy. All right, let's speed run this one. If I can find it in the missions. <laughs> um, what did I get? I don't remember what rank I even got. Like a B. My head is so empty. Was it this? No. Is it this one? Maybe? No. <laughs> I can't find it anymore. I just clicked on it. Alright, let's just do another one. A different one. Um, they have their own ravens employed. Destroy generators and eliminate patrols. Okay. There was also a mission that was super, super cool where, like, there was a ship sinking and you had to go, like, it was already half sunken and you had to go all the way down to the bottom to recover, like, data or something and then climb all the way back up. And it was, like, filled with security robots that were shooting you or something. And you were on a timer because the ship was about to completely sink. That mission might have been like the one that made me fall in love with this game.
I also always forget to look at the enemy's remaining thing at the bottom. There's already so much stuff to look at. Okay, this one's clear. Oh, it even says what it is on the doors. It's really easy to get lost. Oh, wow. What's up, buddy? It's kind of easy to get lost because, like, every card looks the same. But if you're paying attention, then you can kind of tell where to go, you can see where to go, but I'm really bad at paying attention, so... It's still nice, I, I don't feel like the, the levels aren't as big as in other old games where you keep running into walls, where you really want to keep playing the game, but like you keep getting stuck in the stage because you don't know where to go. Or like you don't know what item to get. And here they talk to you. You have like the minimap. The maps are laid out fairly linear linearly. And then you also have like your other map. Where depending, like if you have no idea where to go, you can just get like the most detailed radar and it tells you everything. And it's so cool. I think that they announced the new Armored Core for this year. And I'm really excited for that. There's so many enemies. Okay, I think after this mission, after this mission, I'll do a couple of arena battles. Oh, yeah, they're the generators. Neat. Do I need to escape? Oh, they just gonna <laughs> teleport me out, beam me out. All right, cool. Sometimes they bait you by making you go to an escape point and then another big guy shows up. Oh, I didn't even lose money, cool. Oh. I got a message. Okay, what did I get to our comrades? Um, oh, that's so funny. This is relevant to the plot, but I already played through it. But I didn't play this mission. So it's still giving me like that alternative timeline version of the plot.
All right. Perf perfectly happy to wait for his wait out his opponents. Fanfast ACs build to take whatever they can dish out and then some. Win matches by never panicking and waiting until the other pilot slips up before moving in for the kill. So he's very... He looks heavy and he just waits out. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how, how well his tactic is going to work out. As long as he's not gonna like stay in the air, my I'm gonna be able to handle him okay. Whoa, what are these slowdowns? Oh, I ran out of stamina. So this is like in Dark Souls now where he, if you completely run out of your bar, you have to wait until it's completely filled up again before you can do anything that uses energy. Like my quick turn, or boost, or I use energy weapons. That was really close. For a bit I was like constantly losing health, like I was poisoned, which um, happens when they have like a heat gun and they overheat me. And then depending on my cooling system um, is how long that lasts. And it's super OP if they can just like hit you with a heat gun and then drain your health constantly without having to hit you. Because it doesn't matter how well you dodge, you can't do anything but wait it out. Um, prefers close range combat. Make use of his cause overboost function, which is like a really fast boost. He's quick to anger, especially when struck by another blade. Ooh, okay, I want to try weapon out on this guy. Which is the parry blade. Apparently you can parry in this game. If you have a shield and like a parry blade. But I have no idea how this is supposed to work. So let's see. Does it tell me anything else? No, <laughs> it's not telling me how to use it. What does it have for stats? Attack power, energy drain. Okay, this is not helping. I think I have some weight left. Because I don't know how I can kill someone with just a parrying blade alone. Oh, wait. Hmm. So I'll just get this thing and hope it works. Alright, let's do the Reservoir. I like, just like in Smash, I like the arenas that have nothing, that are just like a flat plane. There's a bunch of other ones, but I keep bumping into stuff. Okay, let's see. What he at?
Oh, just having the shield out is also draining energy. Okay, good to know. Come on! Don't you have a like don't you have like a laser sword? This guy's so annoying. Please. I can't lock onto him because he's so close. I left the area on accident. He has a sword. I don't think I can, cannot, can catch up to him trying to fly to his spot. Oh, I'm trying to follow him. I can't even see him. Okay. I have no clue how to deal with the, with them with these weapons. Okay, the, he's moving too quickly for my rockets to lock on. No, he's hitting me with the heat. Bro, oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna pick someone else and hope the different opponent just stays on the ground and lets me parry him. Almost exclusively with blade weapons. Okay, perfect. Most impressive impressive flight durations. No. <laughs> Is he also just gonna try to be in the air and then come down to hit me once and then go back up? All right, let's go to the parking lot. They have the lowest ceiling out of every arena, I think. And it's really cool. You can like shoot out the lights. And you can walk over cars and destroy them. Oh, I'm completely out of... energy again. Well. <laughs> I can't use my vertical missiles because they just like explode right above me. I just want to get one parry in. Ugh. 
Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay. I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm not very determined to make this happen. Alright, I'm switching back to the flamethrower and machine gun. I think this was my other loadout. I also have this guy with heavy weapons for some missions. Why needed long range stuff? Because like there's also somewhere you're on like little islands on top of water, and then you instantly die when you touch water because you're so heavy you just sink. Hmm. This guy looks cool though. Like his colors. Alright, let's go back to the parking lot and cheat by <laughs> picking the arena that's the worst for him. Oh, I shut out the lights. See, that works so much better. Especially if I have two really good weapons I can fire at once. <laughs> I still kept hitting stuff by boosting into them, but that's fine. Whoa, this guy's chunky. Oh, here's a partner that's also in the arena. Tsukuyo. Okay, let's... Let's get the disciple first and then I can go for, the, for his mentor. Um... Undefeated in multi AC combat. Oh, I think that's. Uh, they might be enemies in the extra arena. Hmm. All right. Whoa. Oh my god. Why is he packing out the grenade launcher so late? Am I gonna lose? Yep. He had a lot of HP. Oh, it's just not missing. Uh, not hitting. Ooh. Alright, let's try again. It should be fairly easy to just circle strafe. But it's like difficult for my hand to press like three buttons, three face buttons at once and also shoulder button. And also keep mashing the boost button. And also look at the boosts. Okay. 
I didn't pull out the grenades yet. Oh, I think he had them out but miss. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost out of boost. I'm surprised by how well I just did. Maybe he was just really bad at hitting me. Nice. Alright, let's get his partner's ass. Uh, I think I did take some damage, but not much. I had like 8.5k at the end or something. Um, Alright. Let's do the forest. I think I have 9k, over 9k initial AP. Yeah. So I think I took less than a thousand. Okay, wait, see. No, don't, don't fly up. I think he's just always behind me. <sighs> yeah, like following enemies is really difficult sometimes. Especially when they like keep jumping over you and stuff. Oh, okay, he was a lot weaker. I didn't hit him that much, but I got him. Okay, let's check out the the extra arena. I have no idea what this is. It got unlocked when I beat the game. I like the main story. So I can opposing team. Oh, okay. I'm selecting a different CPU as my partner. That's cool. Also, every single one, every single Raven uh, that exists, like in universe, has like a little icon, and like the guy itself has a name that is usually kind of funny, uh, or like a code name, and then an AC name. They're really neat. I love it when games do that, like when they flesh out their universes in this kind of way. It makes like every fight kind of personal. Look at this, look at this, this fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's just a pumpkin. Or like a piece of candy with a destroyed hat and a gun. Crazy. Alright, let's do the arena. I definitely don't have very much HP left in my wrist, so I'm not gonna play for too long too much longer. Oh no. <laughs> Seventy percent speed. Is this cheating? Playing the game in slow motion cheating. I hope I can get some of my friends to get into Armored Core. I don't know about the later games, but I know the, for a fact that the PS2 games all had 
Split screen PvP. Alright, hit one of them. Whoa. Can I not dash past this bump? No, I think the engine is just being a little weird because of the slowdown. <laughs> okay, I might need to go down to native resolution instead of upscale times two. And see if it still lags. Alright, can I do. Th oh, look at those icons! So cool! Echo head. Uh, let's see, can I downscale this without anything dying? Yes. I'm not sure if it's gonna run better, but it definitely looks worse. <laughs> Paranoia. And ice walls. Let's find these in the wastelands because they look like they're already covered in sand. I think after this match, I'm probably going to call it a day, depending on how it goes. I don't know if you can see it different on screen, but this is like native PS2 resolution now. I think it's 480p. Wow, that was really fast. I don't even know what happened, how the other one died. Let's check the replay. Okay. I was just focusing this one guy, I think. Okay, he just got distracted and the enemy that I was focusing started focusing my friend. And then he died. And there's the other guy. Huh? Oh, there's only one to die in the 2v2s. Okay, I need to ch test this now. But yeah, really fun game. Twin head W and twin head B. Let's get them Apple Boy. Uh, I don't think I've played the ruins yet. They have like lots of debris in the middle of the arena. It looks cool. It looks like a little Dark Souls place. Any vaguely ruins, uh, vaguely European ruins. Ah, oh, Dark Souls reference now. Uh. Uh. I just want to hold my gun shoot button down, but there's so much shit in the way.
Okay. Got one of the enemies now, and it's not game over. Yo, that guy was stuck, because he <laughs> ran. He hit like a big pillar. Nice. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Good game. I'm a big fan. Definitely recommend trying this out. It's not difficult to get around from this of this. Um it should run pretty well and everything. It's really not as scary as it looks if you take your time. I think I've, I said this before earlier, but you can like go into the garage, into the cockpit, and then like disable most things. Like the only thing you really need is like the re remnants enemy thing. And that's it. <laughs> Everything else is like your ammo, your HP, and then like mission relevant stuff. And I think, like, most of these things are on by default. Yeah, I'm also really excited. I'm definitely going to play Ahmed Kofo after this. Um, and hopefully finish Demon X Machina, because that game is super fun and even more fast-paced. Um, yeah. Cool stuff. Thanks for showing up. Um, my streaming schedule is still very inconsistent. I'm probably just going to stream when I feel like it. But yeah, thanks for sticking around, Solo and Rage. And Emily was here as well earlier. I don't know who else was lurking. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure either if it's coming to PC. Actually, let me look that up. It's coming to PC, apparently. PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Series X, and Windows. <laughs> One of the top results in Google is Ahmed Core 6 will not have Soulsborne gameplay. That's so funny. Yeah, um, yeah, thanks. Have a, have a nice weekend. Uh, drink water and catch you next time hopefully bye